In this video, we can discuss about Andalmedics or Andy Helmedics. Here, we will discuss the definition, classification, mechanism of action, adverse drug reaction, and uses of different Andalmedics. So, what is Andalmedics? Andalmedics or Andy Helmedics are a group of anti parasitic drugs that will expel the parasitic worm which is known as helminths and other internal parasite from the body by either stunning or killing them and without causing significant damage to the host so that is the hand helminthix these are the agents or drugs which are used to expel the parasitic worms and the anhelminthix or antihelminthix may be of vermicide or vermifuges. Vermicides are the drug which will kill the worms and vermifuges are the drugs which will expel the worm. Now these are the some uh, figures which will show helminthix. So by seeing this one we can un uh, understand that everything will be in tubular like structure. And this tubular like structure is made up of a special protein that is known as tubulin. So many of the drugs which will act on helminths by acting the or by preventing the synthesis or polymerization of this tubulin protein to make into a tubular structure. So now coming to the classification of andalmendix or antihelminthix. The different drugs which are used for the treatment or expelling of helminths are mebendazole, albendazole, pyrandal palm oil, brazigondal, diethyl carbamazine citrate, levamizole, tetramizole, niclosamide and ivermectin. So these are the different drugs which are used for the treatment of helminthix, different type of helminthix for roundworm, hookworm and pinworm, albendazole, mebendazole, pyrandal palm oil, piperazine and limo, uh, levamizole is used for the treatment of or for the expelling of threadworm, ivermectin and albendazole is used for whipworm, albendazole, mebendazole is used for the treatment of filariasis diethyl carbamazin and ivermectin and albamazole is used for expelling of tapworm prazigondal niclosamide and albendazole can be used for for hydatic hydatate disease albendazole and mebendazole can be used now coming to the first drugs which is used as an and helminthic drug is mebendazole and the, coming to the mechanism of action as we mentioned before the tubulin or tubular like structure of helminthix are made up of a micro tubular protein that is known as tubulin. So this mebendazole and albendazole will wind with the micro tubular protein or beta tubulin of susceptible worm with higher affinity thereby it will inhibit its polymerization in parasites thereby it will kill or uh, it will kill the uh, different helminths and this is a broad spectrum hand helminthix we can use for different types of worms so this is the mechanism of action this albendazole will bind with the tubulin dimos and it will prevent the polymerization into tubular like structure structure now coming to the adverse drug reaction of mebendazole usually these are less uh, this will show less systemic toxicity and some common adverse drug reactions like diarrhea, nausea, abdominal pain has been attended. It's used in heavy infestation. Allergic reaction, loss of hair, granulocytopenia has been reported with higher dose. And this mebendus or is contraindicated in case of pregnancy and children below one year of age. Now, next drug that is used as an helminthix or antihelminthic that is albendazole the mechanism of action is same as that of mebendazole that is it will bind with the microtubular protein or beta tubulin of susceptible worm with higher affinity thereby it will inhibit its polymerization in parasite thereby it will kill the worms 
and the adverse drug reactions are rare when compared with the mebendazole but after the long term therapy it may cause headache, weakness, dizziness, alopecia, jaundice and neutropenia. Now important uses of albendazole as we mentioned before this is a broad spectrum uh, and helminthic so it can be used for the treat or expelling of different worms like ascaris, hookworm, enderoboys, trichoris, tapworm and uh, strongyloidoids, tri trichinosis, neurocytocirrhosis and cutaneous larva migraines. So these are the uses of albendazole. Next important drug which is used for treatment or expelling of anhelminthix is diethyl carbamazepine. This is very effective against filariasis which are caused by Wuchiria brangofti and Bulgia malay. And the mechanism of action of diethyl carbamazepine is this will immobilize microfilaria and it will alter the surface structure displacing from the tissue and make parasite more susceptible to destruction by the host defensive mechanism. So it do not have any direct action on filaria or uh, Wuchiria brangofti. It will change its surface structure in, to, in such a way that it is uh, more susceptible to the destruction by the host defense mechanism. Now coming to the adverse drug reaction, it will induce parasite induced side effects like uh, uh, fever, skin rashes, severe itching, enlargement of lymph node, bronchospasm and fallen BP and it is mainly used for the treatment of uh, filariasis or elephantiasis uh, which it will affect in the legs like uh, uh, an, uh, it will look like an elephant leg that is known as elephantiasis and it is, can be uh, treated uh, or it can be used for the treatment of uh, filariasis by Wuchiria brangofti and Urgia malay and also for the topical isnophilia. Now another drug uh, which is used as an anti-helminthic is Prazigondal. This is usually a active against trematodes and the mechanism of action is uh, this Prazigondal will be uh, taken rapidly by susceptible worms and there, thereby it will appear to act by causing uh, leakage of intracellular calcium from the membrane. So, by this uh, leakage of intracellular calcium, it may uh, produce a contraction and paralysis of uh, different uh, parasites and thereby it will lose its intestinal grip and it will be easily expelled. So that is the mechanism of action. Now important ADR are dizziness, itching, skin rushes and it have a bitter taste. So it may uh, produce nausea and abdominal pain and it can be used for the treatment of turf worm and tinea saginata and tinea solium. So these are the uses of prazigondal. So these are the different choice of drugs for helminthiasis. In case of roundworm, we can use mebendazole, albendazole and prazigondal. In case of hookworm, we can use mebendazole, albendazole and pyrandal and mebendazole, albendazole, pyrandal for nectar americans uh, which is a type of hookworm. And for the treatment of threadworm, we can use mebendazole, albendazole and pyrandone and uh, strongyloid, styrocholas, coralis, ivermectin can be used, whipworm, we can use mebendazole, then uh, trichinella spiralis, albendazole can be used. For the filariasis or elephantiasis, which area vangofti and brugia malay can be treated with diethyl carbamazine and ivermectin. And for the treatment of guinea worm, we can use metronidazole. And uh, for the tap worm like uh, tinea saginata, prazigondal and niclosamate, for tinea solium, prazigondal. And hydatid disease, we can use albendazole. So these are the different choice of drug for helminthis. So that is all about the anti-helminthics or anthelminthics definition mechanism of action, adverse drug reaction and uses of different and helminthics. Hope it is clear. Thank you for watching this video.